How do I navigate the viewports in Unreal Editor? Well, viewport navigation is going to depend greatly upon what type of viewport you're looking at. If you're looking at the simple two-dimensional viewports for the top, the front, and the side, you have one type of navigation. If you're looking at the three-dimensional perspective viewport, you have another type of navigation. So we're going to start with the orthogonal viewports because they're pretty simple. If you click and drag with the left mouse button in any of the orthogonal viewports, of course that means front, side, and top, left mouse will pan the camera around. So as you can see here, if I drag to the left, we're moving to the left. Drag to the right, we're moving right, and so on and so forth. You do the same thing with the right mouse button. So if you drag with the right mouse button, you get the exact same behavior. You're just panning the camera around. If you hold left and right mouse buttons together, you're zooming in and out. And this works such that if you push the mouse forward, you're actually pushing your scene away from you. And as you pull the mouse towards you, you're pulling the scene towards you as well. So it's a way to kind of zoom in and out. Now that's all you really need to know for the orthogonal viewports. The perspective viewport is a little different and a little more complex. If you click and drag with the left mouse button in the perspective viewport, you're kind of driving your camera around as if it were a car or maybe some sort of floating hovercraft-like device. If you push forward, you're moving the camera forward. If you pull back, you're moving the camera back. And as you move to the left and right, you're rotating the camera to the left and right. You're always moving along a flat plane, though. That's the thing to keep in mind. Now, if you drag with the right mouse button in the perspective viewport, you're basically turning the camera as if it was on a tripod. So if you move to the left, you rotate left, right, etc. And then you can look up or down, but this is limited to extent. So you can only look straight down or straight up or any uh, direction there in between. If you hold down the left and the right mouse buttons in the perspective viewport, you are sliding on a vertical plane that is oriented perpendicular to the direction of the camera. So uh, if I hold down left and right and move to the left, I'm sliding to the left, I can slide to the right, I can slide up, and I can slide down. So it's kind of a way to pan the camera around. It's a great way to change elevations very, very quickly. Now, those are the basics of viewport navigation for just the default now moving around in Unreal. If you're completely new to Unreal Editor, you'll probably want to practice with those. Now, if you come to Unreal Editor from a Maya background, you're fortunate in that there's some navigation that reflects what you're used to seeing inside of Maya. So let me go ahead and select the red builder brush for now, just so we have something about which we can orient. For starters, if you hold down the U key, and drag with the left mouse button, you are tumbling your camera, just like Maya. While holding down U, if you drag with the right mouse button, you are dollying the camera in and out, again, just like Maya. And if you use the middle mouse button, you are panning the camera. Now, if you have something selected in your viewport, you can hold down the L key, and if you left mouse drag while holding down L, you'll notice your camera snaps a little bit so that it is oriented exactly on what you're selecting. So you're tumbling about your selection. Very, very handy. While holding down L, if you drag with the right mouse button, you're dollying towards and away from your selection. And then, of course, if you click and drag with middle, in this case, you're just moving it because there's no real navigation for that because there, there'd be no need to pan around while you have something selected. So that's a quick look at navigating around your viewport, and that wraps up this How Do I video.